Hello and welcome back to CNN Nintendo. I'm your host Linky, and I just returned from my first trip of 2020 from Japan. And as you can see from the title of the video, as well as the footage on the screen, is that we went to the Nintendo store inside Tokyo. Um, not once, but we actually went twice. Um, the second time was actually on March 10, which is the International Mario Day, and nothing special was happening at the store. I was kind of hoping, but uh, yeah. It's located in uh, Shibuya, which is a very short ride from the Shinjuku, which like is a main hub, and then a 10-15 uh, minute walk from the Hachiko uh, exit of uh, Shibuya Station to the Parko building on the 6th floor and you will be greeted by a big Mario statue plus the screen that shows advertisement and stuff like that. There are also other stores that might be of interest like a Capcom and a Pokemon store. I actually believe the Pokemon store is a little bit bigger but it was also um, less populated. People were interested in the Nintendo store. Now the Nintendo store here is the second of its kind, the first one is actually in New York and um, from the looks of it, it's actually very popular and I'm hoping they will continue to spread around uh, the world eventually. As you get inside, um, you will be faced with this Mario statue, which we talked about a second ago, and those tin cans basically have Yoshi cookies and they come with a little greeting card which is shaped like a Yoshi egg. Um, we have some of those and we'll be doing a video of that as well. As you can see, you can get anything Mario from watches to shopping bags to purses to kitchen utensils, um, coasters, plastic mugs, cups, uh, bowls, anything. And they of course also have, what is this, four, five uh, unique plushies if you count the uh, Cat Mario, but you can see him right there, Tanuki, Propeller Mario, Cat Mario, uh, Penguin Mario, and um, I forgot, uh, forgot the last one there, but there's definitely five different types of Tanuki Mario, it's gotta be, and uh, the Shoe Mario. Uh, you can't get those any other places, but you could get the Mario, or the Cat Mario one, and that is more or less the same as the Propeller, or or the one from Senai, but it's a bit smaller, so they're not exactly the same size, and the quality isn't as good, but they're unique in their own way, and you don't have to worry about them being uh, official. Of course, here you have one of the other Mario stands, where you can find small hand towels, phone covers, small uh, small bags for carrying this and that, or note blocks, pencils, and they're all themed, like Mario in the Shoe, Penguin Mario, Cat Mario, Propella Mario, and Tanuki Mario. So you can kind of get what you wish. As you can see that uh, bag right there, I was actually offering to buy it to uh, Tay, which has all various Mario stuff, and um, unfortunately she had just bought a bag a few days earlier, and um, she felt it was a little bit expensive. Uh, I believe it's around Nana Sen, uh, around 7,000 yen. So it's... It, it, it costs a bit uh, for no reason. Here, of course, you have all kinds of um, glasses and books and stickers, um, hairpins, uh, everything you can think about for school or work, even a, a, a mug to hold, uh, bring around hot liquid and stuff like that. Even, even those uh, remote control cars from uh, Carrera. Germany is actually starting to be quite popular over there, and you can get a bunch. Um, a bit old news, but here you have some Mario belts and Mario socks and some school bags and stuff like that. Heck, even for uh, necktie accessories, again, as um, we had shown before. Here, of course, you have the hat section, which will show all the various uh, hats that you can put on. Uh, like the Wario, Mario, Luigi, Koopa, and Yoshi. And um, again, more bags and more small hand towels uh, that you can put in. 
um, beach towels, uh, costumes, uh, aprons uh, you can get as well, uh, beach balls, um, pencil holders, and a bunch of plushies, even some of those Pikmin. So if you're into Pikmin, you can definitely get all those four uh, different uh, Pikmin types. Now, it should be said that all the plushies is what they have now, so you won't find any of the older ones, like the ones that have expired. This is the most weirdest section that I ever found. This is like pencil erasers, erasers and they come in uh, Zelda, Splatoon, Animal Crossing, and Super Mario. And as you can see right there on the right left side, there's a small glass, and you just fill it up, and um, then you just pay. This is a new section that they did, which is a 8-bit mashup. It took me a little while to find out what it what actually was about, but they took a Pokemon and put it on a uh, t-shirt or a pillow or anything. They turned it into 8-bit, and then inside the Pokemon, they had like Mario jumping around inside a level. It could be a water level with Squirtle and a fire level with Mewtwo and, and so on and so on. Uh, people didn't seem to find it that interesting, but hey, gotta try new stuff. Again, the Yoshi section here. More tin cans and a bunch of various Yoshis um, from both Crafted World and all that sort of thing. And it's actually a pretty pretty fun thing, and this was actually very popular. Um, a lot of people, especially girls, were overlooking at Yoshi and stuff like that. And yeah. All those uh, Sanai Yoshis there, the part of the tender, they are there as well. There's the uh, outfit. Now, if you have a Nintendo ID, they have made it so that once you're at Nintendo events, you're able to check in with your Nintendo ID by scanning your QR code, as Jay is doing here, for store exclusives. Now, we did this three times, uh, twice on the second day and once on the first day. And you get to choose, in this case, was a sticker. And uh, you just chose any you wished. Uh, Tay picked up a Yoshi, and I picked up uh, two Lucky Twos, which was a bit of shame, but story exclusive, so free. Here you have one of the Zelda uh, stands, and you just saw some Zelda mugs and glasses, coasters, keychains. Everything. Heck, even a Zelda leather bag. Again, these bags are expensive, uh, all things considered, considering what it is. And the quality wasn't that great. Also, they are definitely selling and uh, hyping the uh, Link's Awakening, which is, of course, the new Zelda, but I want to go back once Breath of the Wild 2 is released. Um, again, lots of school potential. Uh, file casing, uh, pencils, uh, note blocks, notebooks, anything you can uh, use from theirs. Even socks and uh, neckties and more mugs, different types of mugs, hoodies, t-shirts, and the only problem is that um, socks are actually kind of small. Um, I tried to find some uh, around my size, but um, you know, if you have a, if you have an adult size foot and you come from a Western country, don't expect to find um, socks that uh, that fit you. This is the Kirby um, stand, which is uh, shared by both uh, Splatoon and kind of by Animal Crossing. Uh, right behind me is actually the Animal Crossing, uh, but the video there is unfortunately corrupt, so I couldn't add that to the to the video here. But these sections are definitely the least visited. There was almost no people there, um, even with a new Animal Crossing game, just that was just released. People didn't really care much about it. Same thing with Splatoons. Uh, you can see like everything is more or less full. No one is taking anything from uh, from there, and uh, but yeah, again, you can get anything you wish. You can get like uh, costumes, t-shirts, beach towels. Uh, if Splatoon is your thing, you definitely got a chance uh, to get some of that as well. Uh, just took some quick video, and of course, behind 
that we had Animal Crossing and of course the game section which was closed down due to coronavirus. Here you have one of the store exclusive stands and you can see those four characters from Zelda, Splatoons, Animal Crossing and Mario is like the whole um, logo for the store and you can get it on everything like mugs, uh, thermal mugs, um, pins, phone covers, heck even tape that you can put on the window that has this just going around which you will see here in a little second that's that round thing as you can see right there. Um, everything from again as I said uh, note blocks and pads and heck even mugs and um, and glasses you can get anything with this on sale but this is store exclusive and they're a bit more expensive here because well you can only get it here and everything is more or less one per person again here you have pillows with the logo on it you have towels you have a puzzle now the puzzle is just the characters with the name but it is the Japanese name so keep that in mind Now we're up by the, the cashier and you can see there are a few more tin cans of uh, chocolate and cookies and um, and up top you have like uh, an audience of uh, plushies looking at you. You can see like some of the older ones and also some uh, unique uh, pillows for uh, Mario, Peach, Toad and Luigi. Anyways, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you again next week. Oh, <laughs>